Hello everyone, welcome back to RT Lobotics and today we are back with the SpaceX Falcon 9 booster. Um, now I have re redesigned, refined the uh, actual design of the, uh, the rocket a little bit more. So the main problem what we had last time is when it was landing, um, not only was it uh, grabbing hold of the ground because I had the legs the wrong way around, but it was also the legs were giving way because the only thing that was holding them on is hot glue. So as soon as you know too much force was being put on them, they were breaking straight off. So I'm going to show you a bit more of the design of the refine of the design. It's a bit hard to say that. So the actual legs, we've um, made some brand new legs out of cardboard, not foam board this time. These are, you know, almost the same weight, but they're definitely a lot more stiffer. Inside here, we have bracing. We have uh, a coffee stirrer. <laughs> Four coffee stirrers in each one of the, you know, the trusses of the triangle. Then in here, we have some reinforcements with a counterweight to uh, to make our center of mass a little better. When I say a counterweight, that's three two, pe two pence pieces all glued together into this truss piece here, which is all, all of these are attached to the bottom of these legs. So when the legs are pushed, this this piece in here is that's going to be compressed. And when these two push in, that piece is going to be compressed. Then also we've got some more coffee stirrers down here to, uh, you know, this is where the actual SpaceX booster has uh, you actuate is what you can call them they've actually got brace in here so that's what we've got for a much more stronger undercarriage so we're going to try and fly it again we've got much better weather today uh, barely any wind so yeah let's get this thing up before any weather actually does roll in <laughs> it's a little bit hairy <laughs> Yeah, see, it cut. Okay, this is test flight two with the quadcopter stuck underneath instead of in the top. So yeah, if this one doesn't work, we're gonna call it a day and I'm going to admit to myself that I don't know, know, know anything about rockets. <laughs> Give Elon Musk a call. It's handing your nerd license. <laughs> That's a lot more stable. That's a lot more stable. Way. I should have done this from the start. Okay. We're going to try a landing. Yes! <laughs> Fucking yes! You're going to end up falling. Yes! Like <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, go on, keep catching it. That is so stable. What? Sick. That's better than the last one. Fly around a bit. Look at that! <laughs> oh, I just knocked my phone over. Oh no! <laughs> Great success! Fantastic! Fantastic! Okay. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, that is awesome. Yeah, I should have put the quadcopter in the bottom in the first place, but that kind of would have... Sorry, I'll just do this. So I should have, uh, yeah, put the quadcopter in the bottom to begin with, um, but I, I put it in the top to make a point to Joe Barnard of BPS Space or T0 Systems. Um, so the whole point really with the quadcopter in the bottom doesn't make any sense to the point I was making to Joe Barnard that maybe they could reverse the props to get their gimbaled rockets to do a landing. Um, but yeah, I'll put a, I'll try and put either a screenshot or I'll put the link to a, another video that I found that I seen a guy doing it exactly this way. He put a quadcopter underneath the uh, thing and it worked awesomely. Uh, he managed to get a, a small, very quick, small landing 
on his swimming pool and he made actually made a drone ship that looks like the uh, of course I still love you drone ship so I'll put his uh, video link in the description um, so yeah I hope he sees this video and thank you very much for the proper idea of how to do it so let's do one more quick landing I love this <laughs> <laughs> that was the best one when it came out down a bit quicker. Oh, I'm so happy and the rain stayed off and everything worked perfectly in the end. <laughs> I've been stressing over this video for ages. So thank you very much for joining us here at RC Robotics today, guys. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's just up there in the corner. Uh, if you'd like to see any more of my content, I'll put one video down here and another just down here. Thank you very much and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.